Hello, I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. Today, you will learn how to use CSS gradient background from Figma and how we can make it into a system. The reason why we think about systems is because we want to reuse these gradients and we want to position them differently. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Figma and we're actually going to copy. We are going to copy the gradient that we created because that's the nice thing about Figma. You can actually inspect and you can copy the code. So we're going to copy all of that. And I'm going to go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a new file called gradients. We need to make sure that is in the same folder. I'll go back to index and hide that. So here I'm going to say link and gradients in the CSS folder. Go here, copy. So I'm going to open up the gradients and here we're going to say gradient and that one is orange. Okay. Now we need to have different sizes so we can say gradient large and that I can see from here is a width of 800. So width 800, height 800 and I think they're all going to be similar opacities but we're going to find out. Okay, So gradient orange and gradient large. So if I go back to index the way we're going to do this is we are going to actually have it in its own div. So here div dot gradient dot orange. Hit enter, save, and that is not appearing anywhere. So what we need to do then is we go to gradients. Okay. Okay, so we need to create another class here called gradient. And we can start well maybe we we can start taking these out. Okay, now let's leave those in. Let's leave those in. And we'll just say gradient large. Okay, so for some reason that is appearing, but it's taking up a lot of space. So we go back to gradients, and this is probably why we need a gradient class because we actually want all of them to be position absolute. So we go back and we say gradient. And we say gradient orange. Okay, there we are. So we have our very first gradient, and we actually want that to be behind the text. So if I say z index of zero or minus one, that now goes behind. But we actually want this to be on the right. So if we go back to index. And I'm just going to go inline and say style, I'm going to say right zero. So now it's gone to the right side, which I think is pretty cool. And if we go back to the style, we can go to iPhone. We can say background color of white. Nice. Now one thing we want to do is to make the the background of light orange. So I'm going to go in and get that light orange color. If I can find where the orange color is, there we are. So here I'm going to go to header. So I'm going to say nav and header. I want a background color of the very light orange. 
go back to Brave and see we've got that really nice light orange. But you can see here, this is where the box model comes in. You can see that this is not really working with margin. We should actually give it a padding. We just need to go here and say padding instead. There we go. Now one thing is that the background has now disappeared because we're having a background color here on the actual header. So again, if we go back to the gradients, let's say we said zero. Okay. And now we need to go back to the phone, which is in styles. So if I look for phone, we need to give that a Z index of one. So that should appear above. We might as well do that for the iMac as well. Okay, but because we put a Z index, this is where Z index gets a bit crazy. It now appears above here. So we just need to go to the next section. So we collapse the header here. We just need to say Z index of two. So now that is above. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. Okay, so the next one is we got two. So here I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna go to inspect and I'm gonna copy the whole thing there. And this is 500. Go back to gradients. And here I'm gonna say dot gradient teal. Save that. Okay. This one is orange as well, but let's change the color. So let's say we are going to have, let's say we're going to have red this time, or rose. Oh, rose is nice. There we go. So let's get rose, go to inspect, copy rose. say gradient rows and th those whips are 500 so I'm thinking dot gradient let's say small width 500 px height 500 px okay great so again we go down here and what we need to do now is we're going to go here we're going to go to div and this is going to be slightly different how we do this. So here we're going to say div, let's type it this way. So div dot gradient dot gradient small dot gradient and we're saying till and then hit enter. And then if I do shift alt down, I just change that to red, save. So if we go back to brave, now we can't see anything yet. So let's get rid of the aquamarine and let's say we want white. Okay. So gradient, gradient small and gradient till. Okay, so let's see why they are not appearing. Gradient till. And gradient rows okay so gradient rows okay so there's rows and teal is not appearing anywhere at the moment let's see how we can then position these so here I'm gonna say style margin top minus 20 rems so now it's going near the top let's say 40 rem 30 rems, okay, halfway, but we need to make this section overflow hidden. There we go. So now it cuts it off. And then we just need to do the same for the rows. So this obviously seems quite messy, but what we're doing is we're just testing and going back and iterating, and this is quite the process when you start designing and coding and things can change very quickly so anyway here 
we're going to say rows. We want the rows to be on the right. So if I then say right zero, that brings it right there. But we're going to say right minus 10 rems. Oh, let's say right 10 rems. There we go. 20 rems. Nice. Again, very subtle stuff that we're doing. Nothing too crazy, right? And a lot of these things, we're going to have to really test things out because we want to position them differently because the contrast is not great for mobile. Go back. We got three here. And these are all different sizes. So again, we just go back to gradients. So we've got a nice system that we're creating. So gradient yellow gradient I remember the colors lime and gradient green okay so this is 400 so it's actually small so here I can just create a new one so extra small 400 And then the lime is 600. So that is probably going to go here. I'm going to say gradient medium width 600, height 600. So we're creating a very nice system here because if we're going to sell this as well, we're giving lots of different options. So lime. And then we need green. Okay, so we got small, extra small, small, and then medium. Go back, close iMac. We go to div dot gradient dot gradient extra small. And then gradient lime, uh, yellow. Then hit enter, save. Let's check out Brave. And is that appearing? Nowhere yet. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly. Oh, sorry. Where's the FAQ? The How It Works section has actually disappeared. Okay, so how it works, we can't find how it works because we need a z-index. So this should be higher than the other one, a z-index of 3, there we are. So now we've got that nice lime. And then we just need to introduce the other ones. So I'm just going to do shift alt down twice. I'm going to say lime and then green. So here we can say medium and then large so there we are all very nice okay so what we need to do here is we need to give this a overflow hidden so now that will cut it off and no, we're not sure why there's a gap but we'll, we'll find out why so again we can go in, in here we can say style z index minus one again we, we're just testing these out not everything's going to be perfect. Save. So that goes behind. Even that works, right? To the left. But let's start positioning them. So I'm going to just say for the line, I'm going to say left 20 rems. I'm going to say margin top minus 20 rems so now we want to bring it up a bit Oop. we want to do it the same for yellow and then the green is going to be pretty big I'm going to say 40 there we are okay nice now we want to try and bring these in the middle. So got left of 40 rems. We can say right. And now that's starting to bring them 
a lot nicer I can imagine this has to be a lot higher so let's say 60 because that circle is pretty big and then the line we we're just playing around with positioning that's all it is left 20 rems so the gap is probably because of the margin top minus so let's just be a bit more a bit more generous and let's say 30 rems so in case you've got more to show yeah I think that's fine okay so we've done a lot of tinkering and again it might not be perfect but we've created a system for gradients I hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the bell and I'll see you in the next video